Hello, machine tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria, the story of Blue Cloud, with me, Blue Anculo. In the last episode, we explored the Temple of the Machine and did a moderately good job at it, except for losing a bunch of Dark Souls, of course, because that's just what I do. I don't even know how many, but it was probably multiple tens of thousands. Hooray! So I've probably lost nearly 100,000 by now. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the goal for today is to fight the uh, Skeletron Prime slash machine. Uh, we'll see how things go. Um, we've got a kind of a, a room to fight him in that's fairly big. Oh, is it not nighttime? There we go. Nighttime it is. There we go. So, uh, wish me luck. Come on. There we go. Wish me luck, folks. The machine, 30,000 HP. I'm going to be fighting it with my Dragoon Lance. Or, yeah, Dragoon Lance. At least that's the plan. As usual, range stuff seems to be very useful on bosses, but, uh, whatever. What's the best way to fight this guy? Kill his hands first? I know it's kind of nice once they stop shooting lasers at you. 400 damage is pretty good. At least he's not doing like hundreds of damage to me in one shot, like certain other bosses I refuse to name at the moment. Um, you know what I'm talking about, bosses. Ow! What? I keep... How did I switch my... Okay, also we... Supposedly we had the gravitation effect in here, but it doesn't seem to actually be happening. So, I don't know. I thought the sign said that you could use the up... to press up and down, but it doesn't seem to actually be happening. I'm uh, not doing super well. 25 seconds to heal. He's hitting me enough that I'm not staying alive, which is sad. Maybe melee is not the way to do it. Why is melee never the way to do it with these bosses? Okay, 8 seconds and I can heal. At least I hit him once. <laughs> and lasers. Okay, heal up, blue. Pay attention. Um. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Twenty-six thousand. Yeah, I wonder if I should just take his his uh, arms apart because I think I can kill them relatively quickly if I just keep focusing on the arms, and then he won't hit me nearly as much. Probably. Yeah, stand. Stay right there so I can shoot you. Stab you. Okay, 35 seconds, just keep my distance. I probably, I really should be using the Philosopher's Stone when I'm fighting uh, bosses, just so I can heal more often. Just out of range. Alright, well we'll just, we'll just keep, we'll keep at it. What could go wrong? No bombs, no bombs, not allowed. Once one of his arms go, I'll know the other ones are probably pretty close anyway, so. Alright, so far, it's tough, but I'd say this is this is more doable than the last couple really tough bosses. Um, and if I was using, like, the bow, it would be probably much easier. Or the Mega Shark, you know. Okay, come on, hands. You gotta be almost dead. No, no, no. Ah. There needs to be a way to lock that thing. I always end up clicking on it when I'm trying to fight randomly, magically. Okay. Let's just take a quick pause. Let's have a look. 3,400, 6,700, lots. <laughs> what about the other ones? Tw oh, that one's almost dead. Good. So we've almost got one hand. There we go. Your hands will not last you. Actually, the bomb hand isn't that bad. It's the uh, the laser hand that needs to go. And this one. Oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Come here. No, no, no! Ah, <laughs> see, stuff like that. <laughs> Just trying to fight. Okay, 26 seconds to heal. Let's be a little bit careful for a second here. Just, just rest up over here nice and safe. Fly right through one of his hands. That's real smart, Blue. Good job. 
seems like if you can get a, a good angle on them, you can kind of, you know, sort of hit them a few times as they back up away from you with the knockback. Okay, there he is. Heal. Good. Back up to good health. Okay. Come on. Come on, hands. Come on, hands. There we go. Got another one. Okay, we're feeling pretty good. Let's rebuff up so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got bomb hands and we've got one stabby hand. That was a good little... Oh, wow, that was not such a good trade. That was a bad trade. I thought I was doing some good damage to him there, but no, he was doing good damage to me instead. I really got to gotta dodge here for a second. Okay. I think, I think what happens is if the bombs do hit me, I take a ton of damage. Or something like that. So try not to land on the bombs. It's fairly easy to dodge them generally, but you don't want to be right above that little cannon shooter problem. Come on. Alright, feeling good? Healthy again? Okay. So it's just a bomb shooter. I actually must have taken out the third hand then, but I wasn't noticing it. So, come on, bomb hand. You gotta go. Yeah, it's definitely the bombs I gotta watch out for now, because he's shooting them like crazy. Alright, we can take it out. We got him, we got him, guys. No problem. A little bit more tactical this time. There we go. Now what you got, Skeletron? Slash machine. What can you do? What You can just spin around. You can do a couple flybys. It's no big deal. Come here. Quit flying away. You're dead. You're, you're all dead, man. Once he's just ahead, I mean, what can he really do to us? And then he's going to have some supercharged laser that Tim added in. You watch. Some <laughs> he'll, like, power up and you'll suddenly have uh, the troll laser will come kill me in one shot. There we go. Just stand there. No, no, not like that. Just stand right beside me. Okay, 5,000 left. We almost got him. Okay, at least it feels like I'm fighting this boss, you know, fairly decently. Definitely when he's spinning, though, he does a ton of damage. Like, like that was a lot he did there. Anyway, you are dead, my friends. Gotcha. Okay. So now, we're guaranteed not mad that I have uh, the angel wings, because um, I've had demon wings, now I've got angel wings, I can definitely do everything. Although they do say do not craft now, thanks Tim for the, the, uh, <laughs> the explicit advisory. <laughs> Good job. Um, let's just throw those away. We've got another crest, alright! Uh, actually, I'm not going to teleport out, we're going to fly up and see where this takes us. Because why not? Upwards we go, hitting switches as we go. So where will this take us? The gate must open from the side that I just came from. Is this the Dryad's house? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, the Dryad's house turned into corruption? Isn't that sad? I'm actually kind of sad about that. I guess that's what you get for building a house above Skeletron Prime. <laughs> or the machine, sorry. Oh well. Now we know. So that's nice. That connects up a little bit more. I got another crest out of it. I suppose I really do need to fight the Destroyer next. Maybe we'll do that this episode as well. Now that I've got this amazing spear, um, I might be able to fight him. I think I did a pretty good job against that last boss. I mean... The, the trick is, he didn't, uh, the main thing is he didn't, um, confuse me, <laughs> like certain other bosses. It appears we've got a goblin army again. I don't know. Stupid goblin. Yeah, we're at home again. Quit jumping on top of these stupid goblins. Yeah, that'll teach you. All right, let's just kill some goblins while we're here. Kind of tired of them spawning on me while I'm in the middle of the stuff. Oh, that's one of those uh, necromancer type dudes. What's he called? Where'd he teleport off to? 
And a chicken! I really should be collecting... Oops, keep hitting that button. So I really should be collecting dead chickens for uh, hard boss fights that I always die and then complain about. And then forget that I have chickens. Alright, lots of guys over here. It's so nice not to be killed by lava. So much nicer. <laughs> well, we're starting to feel pretty overpowered, I gotta say. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Come on, Goblin Army. You can't stand this. There's no way you can handle this. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are done. Just, just get out of town. So what do I have to do still? I have to fight um, the Kraken in its in his uh, um, in his arena. I, I still think it'll be fair to fight him one time in his arena. And I mean, he's got all that confused death effects. I don't know how well I'm going to do, but I'll have to try that. Obviously, we've got to fight the Lich. I'm pretty sure the Destroyer will come next. That'll be the next thing I fight. In fact, I'm willing to bet the Destroyer will drop a crest that tells me to go under that bridge, probably. So, uh, there we go. I might have done things a little out of order, but... Boss-wise. But you guys forgive me. <laughs> Alright, goblins, you guys are done. So, uh, yeah, Crest of Steel, I forgot to read this. One of the six. Could this be the last one, if I did it in the correct order? When I fit all the pieces together, there's still something missing. Towering heights, the eye of Atreides looks to the sky above. He is near. So I imagine Atreides' tower goes straight up from there. Yeah, I found that earlier. We'll save that till I fight uh, till I fight the next boss. I think. So does that mean that the crystal bosses were just extra? They're just like side bosses? I still don't have the Tiamat, the wind crystal, actually. I don't know where I'm going to find that. Maybe up in the wind temple or something. <laughs> that seems fair. Yeah, 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 slimes. My stars can kill you just fine. So let's put this away. Um, mechanical skull goes there. We're going to bring the worm with us. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's put the crest. So I am still missing... I'm missing two crests, though. Hmm... So I have the earth, air, earth, sky, fire, and steel. Let's have a quick look. Water. Did I miss the water one? This was the second piece, apparently. Huh. Burning beneath the hot sun, heading against the western winds, a violet glow illuminates the path. Oh, that's the one that tells you to go under the wi under the la under the sand. Huh. So, Crest of Water. Did I forget to pick that up when I killed the Sorrow or something? Or do I have it somewhere and I just don't know? Anyway, Crest of Corruption, I'm sure that'll be from the Destroyer, certainly. And then, yeah, Below Familiar Waters, yeah. So that was the correct puzzle. But yeah, I did not really do them in order very well. Alright. Well, if you do them properly in order, good for you. I'm, uh, I make some mistakes. <laughs> I made some mistakes. Oh, Souls of Fright also. Oh, right. Let's put it away. So, Now, if someone knows if I have that uh, water crest somewhere, you let me know. It probably was from the Sorrow, and then I didn't pick it up or something stupid. That would be, that would be just like me, wouldn't it? Don't need duplicates. Oh yeah, I picked up that Neptune skull shell. That was uh, that was with me. Um, that was in the chest that had the uh, the destroyer thing in it, or the, the sorry, the other one, the uh, mechanical machine thing. Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so what can I do with fright souls here? Um, shadow. Oh, the ninja armor. Yeah, you guys. I've definitely had some people talking about the ninja gear being pretty good. Um, yeah, look at that. That comes with everything. That's awesome pretty cool. So I'd have to make my black belt. I have the black belt stuff. Now that I've got Souls of Fright, I can upgrade it to Ninja. I can also make a bunch of stuff I already have. So it doesn't look like Souls of Fright are all that good. The only thing they really unlock is the Ninja gear. 
by the looks of things. Although there is still an upgrade even higher above that. Still, I'm quite happy with my current armor. I'm not going to really change it right now. Um, I might upgrade my repeater. I don't know. What was the Mega Shark? Sniper rifle, 900 damage. Hmm. Souls of Might. I do have a couple of those. I could make the RTQ2 rifle. It's only very fast. It doesn't say insanely fast. So how is it better is my question. It does more damage per shot, but it's not as fast. Hmm. I don't. I also like the not consuming ammo. That's very handy. Um. Well, I don't know. Options. We've got a few options at least. I do think fighting the uh, destroyer again will be the next step. Souls of fright. I don't need vines. You can go away. Okay, dead chickens. I know somewhere I'm collecting dead chickens. <laughs> I've got like a chest full of dead chickens somewhere. Stack. There it is. So I've got 11 dead chickens. Not bad. Lots of random stuff. Uh, I don't need fallen stars anymore. I've got loads of them. Yeah, inventory is looking fairly clean. So, uh, yeah, I could upgrade to a better bow. I don't use arrows a whole lot, but um, I don't think I'm going to be making a whole lot of melee weapons for a while. I mean, unless I want to go like the Muramasa route. Then you get the Muramasa, and then you upgrade that again to the Mazmune, I think. It's pretty cheap, it's 5,000 Dark Souls. Hmm. So many options now. I could get a really nice, this upgrades to like the super powered, that thing's pretty powerful too. Lots of Dark Souls for that. Berserker thingamajigger. Um, but I think, what was it, one of the bows? Molten Fury? Need sight, I have that. I've got not quite enough souls right now. 116 very fast. It's legendary, that's kind of cool. Might be an option. Oops, wrong chest. What else could I make? Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. I've got the ancient great bow. That might be all the main bows. I don't know. Yeah, I already made that, that's no big deal. Back in the day when I used my bows a little bit more. Um, huh, oh well. I should probably make the, uh, this rifle at some point, the Phazon rifle. Three round burst, and it does have an upgrade to it as well, just Meteor plus the clockwork. Lots of stuff to try out. I'm not sure what I want to spend my Dark Souls on. I keep losing them, so I'm like, a little bit concerned. I mean, I could make more armor and stuff. Could upgrade the Hallowed armor. Costs 80,000, don't have enough right now, never mind. Whatever, I'm going to stop worrying about it. I'll figure it out later. Um, I've had lots of suggestions on things to craft with various uh, Dark Souls. And I'm just I'm just not convinced I know. I, I found the Dragoon armor and Lance all on my own, so I'm kind of happy with that. Um, I don't know. Let's just run back and we'll fight the uh, Destroyer. I'm going to fight him with a spear again because I like the spear. It's a good spear. Happy days. Um, after this, though, I suppose it's the Tower of Atreides. Although, before I do that, I do need to figure out that water... The water... Uh, the water crest. I might actually look up on the guide to see which boss is supposed to drop the water crest. Because uh, the Kraken did not drop it, and the only thing else that seems watery was the Sorrel. And uh, fighting that guy again is not going to be difficult. It's just a matter of going running all the way back. In fact, he should die really easily now with this kind of armor. So, that's really nothing to worry about. It's just a backtracking thing, so. If I do that, I might just off-camera it if I have to. Or I could just cheat in the water crest if that's in fact where it comes from. Seeing as I have that. If I just forgot to pick it up. I already fought that boss twice. I mean, I would have thought I would have picked it up the second time. It's probably some other boss I just haven't found, to be honest. I'll have to look through all the crest uh, puzzles and see if I've solved them all or not. Obviously, some were quite easy, some not so simple. I bet you it is the Sorrow, though, because it's been like the three, the Hunter, the Phoenix, and then the three hard mode bosses. It, it almost certainly makes sense to be the Sorrow, actually. <laughs> anyway, this is where we're supposed to fight the guy. Let's reset our teleporter. So, what did I learn last time? The main thing was to not click off the screen. <laughs> And also, um, it has to be night, um, to avoid his mouth. I think it was the mouth that did the most damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. So, the new spear will do more damage than before. See, 186 damage. That is so cheap. And he's too large to really, uh, <laughs> to see his whole body. It's not like, uh, Ceres that you can actually kind of dodge in time. Yeah, see, I know I got stuck there, but that's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. He's coming to get me, yeah. If I could just stay alive, I can do so much damage to him so quickly. It's just not getting hit by that mouth. Or the, well, I mean, the lasers, I mean, they just always hit me. Okay, move. Oh, this is not good. Now I'm stuck. Now I'm even stucker. I'm gonna die again. One hit by his mouth, and then I'm just, there's no way out. Well, well, turns out through a fluke, I actually survived that. <laughs> Don't ask me how, I'm not sure. I should have been dead. I definitely should have been dead. Come on, DPS, DPS. Okay, he's halfway dead, he's halfway dead. Kill some more of these guys. Give me those. No! No! 190 damage. I had no more room to move. Oh, I hate that. 190 damage. That is bull. That is so bull. I uh, like some of the best armor in the game and freaking 190 damage. Sorry, Tim. That is bull. <laughs> if he did like. I don't know, even half of that, 100 damage would be okay, but 100, 150 to 200 damage? How are you supposed to... can't even take like two hits and you're dead, basically. Let's reset the time just in case. I don't want to have a failure because of the time running out. Sheesh. All right, round two of the day. At least I didn't get hit the first time he came by. Come on, DPS. Oh, see, 194. Oh, my. That is just so cheap. I guess maybe everyone thought this was like an easy boss fight in normal Terraria, right? So, Tim, you just went and made it super hard, I guess. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't have to make it this hard, Tim. You didn't have to make it this hard. No! Oh, he chases you so quick. No, oh, I think actually I survived that because the laser hit me before he did. <laughs> Isn't that good? Survived by being hit by lasers. Actually, you know what's probably really saving my life is that... Uh, the necklace, the cross necklace effect that makes the invulnerability timer longer. Okay, I got him down to 40,000. Wow, and then he just wipes me out in one hit. It would be better if I just stood in the lasers all the time. I would take less damage practically. Oh, 164 again! Okay, I'm taking a break. Just taking a break. Hey folks, sorry for killing him off camera. I meant to start it at the last second, but uh, then he almost killed me instead. So anyway, he's dead. And if I'm lucky, his head dropped above ground. If I'm unlucky, it did not. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there he is, good. So I actually managed to kill him. It only took three more tries after I stopped recording. It's not impossible, no, no, no. It's just extremely frustrating if you ever get hit by his charge attack thing. It does like 200 freaking damage. Anyway. Got my Crest of Corruption. Woohoo! Hope you're happy, folks. Sorry that I killed him off camera. I really was planning on recording. Uh, anyway, I got a pet out of it and the Crest of Corruption. And I think two pets, technically. I think that's all I got. So, not a huge dropper of loot. 
Um, to be honest, that was kind of hoping for some more cool stuff out of that, but at least we got our next crest, and I got some souls of, uh, what are they called? Souls of Might, yeah, so Might, Fright, Sight, we got them all now, so all the normal hallowed stuff we'd be allowed to craft in normal Terraria. Um, that's good. I actually died in that hole there once. I got stuck in there, I don't even know how I got in it, just sort of random grappling, and then uh, that killed me. So that was fun, that was a good time. And then it took a couple more tries to actually get him all the way down, so. I might fight him again later on, maybe, I don't know, but honestly, you guys know the destroyer fight. The only difference is on Dark Souls mode, he can practically one-shot you if you're not careful. So, anyway. Let's go back to town, add up all my darks or all of my crests, and think about how to finish that off. So uh, da -da -da. So what was the order? I think we were supposed to fight the rage first. We got the rage one, right? And it tells us um, the wyvern mage. So then I fought the wyvern mage, although it bugged out and never actually fought the wyvern, just the mage. And then that guy told us to go to the far ocean to the right side. I killed that guy a couple times, but I don't think I got a crest. Then I found the crest of earth, which was the hunter, which was under how did I even get there I think I had to use the yeah I used the um, I had to use the the adamantite drill that I got from the sorrow to go left and then I went through the sand or speak caverns I think and that got me to the hunter that took me to get to the twins I killed the twins they gave me the sky this told me beneath the burning sun below the purple light an alternate path opens the way I think that was the desert one. I don't know. Uh, the desert one eventually led to the destroyer, which was the corruption one. Below familiar waters you will find me. That was the one that was the temple of the machine. That got me the crest of steel. So yeah, it's probably, if I did those in order correctly, it's just the sorrow I'm missing. So I might go fight him off camera or something. Um, I also am thinking about fighting the lich again. And perhaps the... The Lich, way over to the bottom left, the far left side and down. And then also perhaps the Kraken in his natural habitat. Um, although I don't think he'll drop anything I really need. So anyway, that's kind of my plan. And then after all that, then we will head upwards, as the Steel Crest says. And we will go to the tower, Towering Heights. So I get a feeling I'm getting kind of close to the normal ending. And then there's just bonus bosses and stuff. So that sounds kind of cool. Um, things that we need to kill that give us things like Flames of the Abyss um, and Soul of Artor Artorias. I don't know how you get that, but I could, I, could, I could do with this upgrade. In fact, I should probably just save all my souls so I can get the Supreme Dragoon Lance because uh, that's about three times as good. <laughs> that would be nice. On the other hand, going for the Dragoon Mail 2 uh, requires Dragon Scales, Dragoon Cloaks, all kinds of stuff that I have no idea how to get, honestly. Permanently increase max life by 20. Huh. Does that actually go beyond the 400 limit? That could be nice. Huh. So there's still some stuff to do anyway, but I'm getting close to the the end of the shard adventures anyway. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to wrap things up now. I'm going to take a break, end my session and all that. And maybe look up on the forums, make sure that the sorrel is supposed to drop the crest of water. And I'll go pick that up maybe. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. Let's put that uh, summoner away. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the boss fight extravaganza today. And uh, yeah, we'll see what comes next. See you next time, folks.